This lesson, I would like to talk about prepayments and accruals, a chapter that is uh, pretty confusing for some people. And this is a three-step process, I call it. Step one, um, you will re you'll realize that in every question, there will be four information, okay? Four kinds of information, okay? Three of them will be given and one will be an unknown. Let's take a look. Number one, starting balance, okay? It could be either an accrual or a prepayment. Two, you have the bank figure. This could be a payment or a receipt. Payment would be for expenses. Receipt would be for income. You have the P&L figure. P&L stands for profit and loss. So P&L figure, which is the amount that is supposed to be earned if it is an income, or uh, the amount that is supposed to be incurred if it is an expense, okay, for the year, for the year. Now, sometimes you can also see uh, the word annual, okay, so the word annual will suggest that this is a P&L figure, so it's for the year, okay. And lastly, the ending balance, it could also be an accrual or a prepayment. So remember these four items, starting balance, bank figure, P&L figure, and the ending balance. And remember, one of it will be an unknown. Usually, either two, three, or four will be an unknown. One is usually a given. Step two, you need to know your LE very well. LE stands for assets, liabilities, income, equity, as well as expenses. So, expenses and income pertaining to this chapter, you must know very well. Expenses to debit is to plus. To credit is to minus, and then you have your balance, okay? So this plus and minus are something that we are going to use um, throughout this chapter, and we've got to know the pluses and the minuses very well, where they belong. For income, it is the direct opposite. To debit is to minus, to credit is to plus, and then you have the running balance. Now, what does the plus and the minus mean? Can we just sum up a little? Now, the plus side means you need to include for the year. Okay, so let's say, for example, expenses. Okay, is it for the year? If it is for the year, include it plus. Okay, or is it more of it? If I pay for expenses, I have more expenses paid. All right. Now, the minus side means you exclude for the year. So if it is not for the year, take it out, exclude it. Or you will have less of it, then you take out, you minus. Okay, so this is the meaning of plus and minus. Now, step three, this is by far the most important slide. Step three, last step, include or exclude. So, if we take a look at this, okay, remember we have four items, starting balance, and then we have the ending balance, and of course, we have cash, uh, sorry, cash at bank, as well as uh, the P&L figure, right? So, we'll talk about the starting and the ending balance first, okay? So, let's say in terms of prepayments, let's take a look, huh? We talk about the ending balance first, okay? The ending balance for prepayments. I give you an example. At the end of the year, if you prepaid expenses for next year, okay, if you have prepaid expenses for next year, then it, this prepayment is not for this year. That means the expenses have not been used up yet for this year. Hence, you must exclude. Okay? Now, Let's turn it back to starting balance. If last year you paid, you know, you prepaid for this year, so it would be expenses for this year, hence you include. Let's take a look at accruals. For accruals, let's start with the ending balance as well. If at the end of the year, I have already used up the expenses, but I have not paid for it, then in this case, should these expenses be included in this year, um, profit and loss? The answer is yes. So we include accruals uh, for the, if there are accruals at the end of the year, we include because it has already been used up. I've already used it, so I will include it. Now next is, if it was a starting balance that is an accrual, that means it didn't even belong to this period. It's just the last period, you didn't pay for it, and now this year you're paying for it. So in that case, you need to exclude because it is not meant for this period. So you see, this is how it, it, it will look like the plus, minus, and a minus plus. Okay, so you need to know this very well. Now, it can, have, it can 
work out for even revenue as well, okay? Is it prepaid revenue or um, whether is it uh, accrued revenue, okay? So, uh, uh, it will work the same way. Now, let's look at the next one, which is the bank or the cash figure. Now, you will realize that if, let's uh, talk about the expenses part. If I pay for expenses, means I have more expenses paid. Likewise, if I receive uh, more income, I, I receive income, that means I have more income earned. So, you can always say that the bank and cash figure inside the uh, expenses account or the income account will always be on the plus side. The PL figure is uh, always on the negative. Why? Okay, because at the end of the year, we must always transfer the balances in the expenses account or the and the as well as the uh, income account and put them into the uh, profit and loss account in the income statement, right? So how do we take out? We take out by subtracting, okay? Because we have been accumulating all these expenses in the whole of the year and then at the end of it, what is the expenses that is for the year? So we take out and put it in the profit and loss account in the income statement. So we minus. So it is always on the negative side. Okay, so knowing this is really very important. Okay, let's try an example. The following information was extracted from the balance sheet. So we have prepaid insurance. This is the start of the year. Okay, this is the actually the ending date for last year. So you take it as 1st of July 2013. That will be the start of this year. And then you have the ending date, which is uh, 30th June 2014. Let's read on. The business paid checks of 1500 for insurance. You are supposed to prepare an insurance expense account for the year 30th June 2014. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this is prepaid insurance. Now, prepaid insurance is basically what you paid last year. Okay, but you have not used up then at that time, okay? So it becomes an asset to you because you have not used it, but you've paid for it. So it's like a something, is an asset to you, a current asset to be exact because you are so going to use it this year. Okay, so when are you going to use it? I, say, I just said it, this year you will use it. So in that case, we will include, okay? We will include in this year, okay? Because um, I know that I will definitely use it this year. Okay, now at the end of the year, it becomes an accrued insurance. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that I have already uh, used up, you know, I've already used up the insurance, but I haven't quite paid for it. So does this insurance benefit this year? Yes, okay, I have already used it up. Okay, so I have to include it as long as I have used it. Now at this point in time, I thought I just want to mention accrual concept. Now accrual concept actually states that, you know, expenses are recognised Okay, when it is incurred, not when it is paid. Okay, so whether or not it has been paid, it doesn't matter. But as long as it has been used up, I recognize it as an expense. Likewise for income. Income is recognized when it is earned, not whether it is uh, whether cash is received or not. So in this case, prepayment uh, that was uh, done in the, in, in the previous year, I included for this year because I am going to use it this year. So it is more important when are you going to incur it, when are you going to use it. So in this case, uh, you add this, okay, prepaid insurance at the start of the year and then you will add the accrual insurance because all these are supposed to be the expenses for this year. Now let's have a look at the insurance expense account. Now I told you this earlier, I said that it is very important that you show to debit is to what? So in this case, as an expense account, to debit is to plus, to credit is to minus, okay? So I'm gonna show you four items, right? So what are the four items that are already that are, that, that, that are presented? And what is the unknown? Okay, what are the three given and what is the one unknown? The three given will be the starting balance, can you see this as a starting balance? And this is the ending balance. Okay, so you already have two. The next one, the third one is, this is the paid checks, right? So this is the bank figure. So what is the unknown? The unknown in this case is the P and L figure. Okay, so let's take a look. 2013, July the 1st, you will have prepaid insurance. You see, it's very simple, just copy it. Okay, prepaid insurance. And then you see, you include it for this year, right? Because it's going to be this year's expense. So I am going to include it. You see, just copy over plus and plus, 200. All right. So at the end of the year right now, okay? So nothing happened in the, in, in the year. At the end of the year, we realize that the cash at bank figure, okay? So cash at bank figure, because there isn't a date given, so we just use 
a generic last day. Okay, the cash at bank figure, remember what I said earlier, it, bank figure is always on the plus side. So come, let's put it in the plus side. Okay, on the plus side, so it's 1,500. And then you will realize that there is accrued insurance. Okay, because I already mentioned this is the third information that we are given. We put it on the plus side still because we have said here is plus, right? So now let's do the running balance, okay? So it's very simple. Can you see that this is 200 on the debit? Debit is to plus. Then we continue to add. Okay, so now it becomes 1,007. 200 plus 1,005, 1,007 on the debit still is a plus. Then we add some more, it's 1,008. Okay, it's on the debit side. And remember what I said earlier about P and L figure? Now, profit and loss figure is always on the negative side. Always on the negative side because you want to take out everything of the expense and transfer it to the profit and loss account. And hence, we will put it on the negative side and it's 1,008. And then that is all. Okay, so in order to help you to remember, I've come up with a little something to help you to remember better. So here goes, okay, listen carefully. Three info needed to find one unknown. Three info needed to find one unknown. If you start with the prepayment, you please include. You please include. Last year paid for this year, so you please include. Last year paid for this year, so you please include. If you end with a prepayment, you please exclude. This year paid for next year, so you please exclude. You please exclude. If you start with an accrual, you please exclude. You please exclude. Last year it was owing and this year you will pay. It is not for this year, so you please exclude. You please exclude. If you end with an accrual, you please include. This year it is owing, so you please include. You please include. The bank figure will always be on the plus side. On the plus side. The PL figure will always be on the minus side. On the minus side. Three info needed to find what unknown. Three info needed to find one unknown. What is your unknown? Thank you.